Fast food. It's served fast. You eat it fast. Maybe too fast to notice the restaurant is a little dirty. The fact is, no one has ever done a national survey looking at the cleanliness of fast food chains until now. Recently, we took our Dateline cameras undercover for the first ever investigation of whether America's top 10 fast food chains are clean and safe. How did your favorite restaurant do? Here's Chief Consumer Correspondent Lee Thompson. I'm ready to take the order when you are. Thank you, bacon, cheeseburger, good luck. Bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. <laughs> We're a nation fueled by fast food. Burgers and fries, tacos, fried chicken. It's hot, tasty, and easy. And with millions and millions of meals sold every day, most of us just assume it's all clean and safe. Thank you. But when it's not, it can be devastating. It is the worst sickness I've ever had in my life. After eating at this McDonald's in Irwin, Tennessee last March, 100 people became violently ill. Some ended up in the hospital dehydrated, even hallucinating. Just the stomach cramps alone would curl you in two. I was just laying in the bathroom floor screaming. It, it almost killed us. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. I take your order. The Centers for Disease Control says sick restaurant employees very likely contaminated food with a virus, although McDonald's disputes that. Meanwhile, after eating at this KFC in Colorado, Gianni Vallada was infected with a dangerous salmonella bacteria. His mother says he almost died. His kidneys weren't working. I mean, there's just no words to explain how bad it actually was. Was there any way to prevent it? Well, had Natalie Vallada checked, she'd have learned health inspectors had cited and fined that KFC just a few months earlier. If I would have known that they had several health violations, I would not have eaten there. But who has time to check health inspection reports before they go to a fast food restaurant? Virtually no one. So Dateline decided to do it. The biggest 10 chains have 75,000 restaurants. We couldn't look at all of them, so we hired a survey company to choose a sample. 100 restaurants from each chain, 1,000 in all, spanning 38 states. We then collected and examined local health inspection reports for the last year and a half on each of those 1,000 restaurants. Some were inspected just once, some more often during that period. And tonight, in a first-of-its-kind national investigation, Dateline is going to use these health inspection reports to find out which fast food chains in our survey are the cleanest and the dirtiest. What we found may do more than surprise you. Some of the horror stories in Dateline's dirty dining survey just might turn your stomach. In Chicago, in a Wendy's, inspectors found a dead rodent decomposing on a rat trap. I can help you. At a California Taco Bell, a woman bit into her taco only to find chewing gum. Can I help you here? An inspector in Texas found a worm in a Wendy's salad. I can help you. At a Hardee's in Florida, a customer was handed a cup of soda with blood dripping from it. There was blood on her change as well. And the list goes on. A cockroach in someone's soda, a sharp metal object in a man's sandwich. But as disgusting as those things are, they're rare. Experts say the things you can't see can be even more hazardous. So what can be done about all this? Well, health inspectors tell us it's not that easy to just close down a restaurant. And they say their power is limited when it comes to even imposing heavy fines. What they can do is cite restaurants for what is known as a hazardous or critical violation. Caroline Smith-DeWall is with the Center for Science in the Public Interest, a food safety watchdog group. A critical violation is something that happens in a restaurant that may result in the food becoming contaminated. By definition, is a critical violation something that could make you sick? Yes. Critical violations are a benchmark for judging a restaurant's cleanliness. Most food regulations mandate they be corrected immediately. They are the only type of violations we counted in our survey. Things like this, handling ready-to-eat food with bare hands or unwashed hands. 
undercooked meat, improper food holding temperatures, sick employees preparing food, and a host of other potentially hazardous problems. What may shock you is just how many restaurants had critical violations. More than 60% of all fast food restaurants in our sample had at least one critical violation in the last year and a half. How many total violations did each chain have? Here comes Dateline's Dirty Dining Survey. It's a top ten list where no fast food restaurant wants to come in number one. Starting with the chain with fewest critical violations. At number ten, Taco Bell. The 100 Taco Bells we sampled had the fewest total critical violations, 91, making it the best performer in our survey. But it was not without problems. Recurring violations include dirty food preparation counters and rodent droppings. Number nine, the Golden Arches. The 100 McDonald's we looked at came in with a total of 136 critical violations. Some didn't have a trained and certified food handler on the job required by law in many states. It's that important. Absolutely. We can't have food prepared by people who don't know that you can't combine raw meat with cooked meat, with people who don't understand the importance of proper temperatures in food preparation. Number eight, KFC. The 100 KFCs we sampled tallied up 157 critical violations. Two-thirds of the finger-licking good restaurants had at least one critical violation. Remember, it was at a KFC, the health department says, little Gianna Volata picked up salmonella poisoning last year. We've now learned that another child was also sick in there, and the same restaurant has since been cited for three more critical violations. While the Veladas have settled a lawsuit against the restaurant, a lawyer for the owner of the franchise contends the salmonella cases did not originate there. With even more health citations, number seven, Subway. The 100 Subways we looked at totaled 160 critical violations. A recurring problem at the sandwich chain, improper food holding temperatures. What does that mean? That means that bacteria in the food that's already cooked can start to grow and it can reach levels that can cause serious illness for someone who consumes it. With a few more critical violations at number six, Jack in the Box. The 100 Jack in the Box restaurants had a total of 164 critical violations. This Ventura, California Jack in the Box was a trouble spot. It had several customer complaints of foodborne illness. Number five, Dairy Queen. The 100 DQs we examined totaled 184 total critical violations. This DQ in Hampton, Virginia rang up a number of critical violations last summer for grime and debris and an inaccurate thermometer. When Dateline went back recently to take a look, the restaurant invited us in and showed it had fixed the problem. Getting up there now, number four, Hardee's. The 100 Hardee's tallied 206 critical violations. Again and again, inspectors cited the presence of insects and rodents. Rodents and, and cockroaches are gross, but they can also spread germs from food to food and carry germs into a restaurant. Last May, this restaurant was cited for not having soap in the employee's sink, yet inspectors found employees handling ready-to-eat food with their bare hands. Number three, Wendy's. 100 Wendy's had 206 critical violations. That's the same as Hardee's, but more Wendy's restaurants had violations. So Wendy's is number three in our Dateline Dirty Dining Survey. At this Wendy's in Mesa, Arizona, inspectors noted repeated problems with food holding temperatures, mice droppings on the shelves, bare hand food contact, and one foodborne illness complaint. But with even more violations than Wendy's, number two, 
Arby's. The 100 Arby's had 210 critical violations. The roast beef specialist had recurring violations for improper hand washing and employees handling ready-to-eat foods with their bare hands. Clearly, if the person isn't washing their hands or using other sanitation practices, they can really make uh, people very sick. So which fast food chain finished number one on Dateline's dirty dining list? It's Burger King. The 100 Burger Kings we sampled rang up a whopping 241 total critical violations. Health inspectors cited this Virginia Burger King for 14 separate critical violations. Employees not washing their hands, uncovered food in the fridge, grime and debris found on this ice chute and on the drink machine at the drive through window. We observed this employee scooping ice into a cup with his bare hands, an apparent critical violation. So what's the big picture? The 1,000 restaurants we sampled totaled 1,755 critical violations, and 613 restaurants were cited at least once. That's more than 60% with problems inspectors consider potentially hazardous to your health. Still, in an industry where millions of meals are served... Is it unrealistic to assume that a fast food restaurant would get a clean bill of health every single time a health inspector came in the door? A fast food restaurant should be monitoring their own critical violations every single day. They shouldn't wait for a government inspector to tell them if they've got a problem. Steve Grover of the National Restaurant Association represents fast food restaurants. He's a former health inspector himself. Does Dateline survey concern you? It concerns me. I do not find critical violations acceptable. Why are they there in the first place? Because no one's perfect. I tell the executives every day, 99.9% .9 is not good enough when it comes to food safety. What about 60%? 60% is not good enough. Grover argues as long as critical violations are being corrected promptly, then the system is working. Inspectors are doing their job and the restaurants are following the advice of the inspectors as they come through. Most fast food restaurants are owned by individuals, but most chains say they inspect every restaurant that has their name on it. In a letter to Dateline, Burger King says it is extremely disappointed by the findings. We want to assure our guests we will quickly investigate and take immediate and appropriate actions. The president of Wendy's writes, one critical violation on a health inspection report is one too many. And Hardy says, we must always do better. Any critical deficiency is unacceptable, which is why we address them immediately. McDonald's says no one cares more about operating clean, safe restaurants than McDonald's. And all are unanimous in agreeing with KFC that food safety is our number one priority. Second. The Valadas, whose little boy almost died, hope that's true. Every single time I go to a fast food restaurant, there's that doubt in the back of my mind that they could get sick. Every single time. You can check the health records of a restaurant near you by logging onto our website. The address is dateline.msnbc.com.